I think growing up like as a loner just taught me to realize that the world like isn't crazy as it seems if you can have control of it. And I think that like that that's what helped me like create loner and like showing the kids that they're not alone and they can do or be whatever they want to be is like really important. The inspiration for Loner came from me and McConaughey were in a studio and we were just both like talking about how like being a loner is probably like one of the most common things in life. Whether you know you have a lot of friends or a little at the end of the day, you're still alone, you know, because you have only yourself. I was also thinking about my like past in Chicago. I think that that's what really helped like a lot because I did loner when I just came to LA. So I, I, wrote, I wrote about my like past about like like drugs and just being alone. You could be mad cuz. Baby, I'm a loner, yeah. You could be sad. Cause baby, I'm a loner, yeah. You could be mad. Cause baby, I'm a loner, yeah. You could be sad. Cause baby, I'm a loner, yeah. You could be mad. Cause baby, I'm a loner, yeah. For the hook, I was just like, thinking like if I was talking to a girl and like I'm explaining to her like the feelings I'm going through, that's why I'm, I'm acting the way I'm acting. When I'm in like the deepest state of mind, I feel like, you know, just telling someone like I'm a loner. We pop fast, we smoke gas, staying with no fear, try to keep it on the tracks. We're popping pills fast, you know, like I used to do a lot of Xanax back in the day, so that's I would, I would just be dependent on Xanax. I felt like um, doing all this Xanax, I felt like there was no, like I had no anxiety, there was no like pain or paranoia in the world. I just felt like I was unstoppable. Cops come at dash, back on relapse, try to survive and I, where the fuck I am? I'll be honest, like so many Xans, I wouldn't know where I'm at. I just felt like I was stuck and it's not like really good coping with drugs. It just leads you in like a deeper hole and then like pretty soon you're just gonna be in a pit and then you're fucked, you know? So. I had to get out of there. I had to escape like that mental that mental health, you know, before it, it took over me. Yeah, two bars in my mouth, looking like a slushy. Always wanna chill, but you love me for my money. I don't really know her, but she really loved me. Baby, I'm a stoner. You ain't getting nothing. Gold diggers, you know, they would go like they would fall in love with anybody, I feel like, who has money. It's so weird. Like I feel like getting more noticed in the world, it's it's harder to know, like just in general, like girl, boy, like who just wants to be your friend and who's in it for the clout, you know? You can pop out, hop out, you're not gonna talk about why you're so down. I can hear no sound. Bleach me, burn me, bleach me, burn me. I had a, like an old song called Bleach It. That song was just falling apart over a girl. I felt like just locked and trapped. Bring me pain, you know? Bleach me and burn me. I think that line was also inspired by Nirvana because just Kurt Cobain made the word bleach so like um, mainstream, I feel like, or just big. Yeah, I can never find her. She's always hiding, never met the girl I love. So blinded. Yeah, yeah, you're so blinded. I don't want you, you don't want me. Falling for you, I am pleading. I don't want you, like you don't want me falling for you. Because I, I feel like sometimes I'm so fucked up, I don't want to bring my bad energy like to someone else. Just being a loner and overthinking just makes me like a little bipolar with like my mental um like thoughts. I don't want girls falling for me if if I'm gonna act like that, if I'm not okay. You know what to do, feeling empty, I'll walk in a pretty hell for you. Yeah. It's just the hell that's pretty. It's just basically like red and fiery, but this like nice, like nice lavish like couches and stuff. It's pretty, but it's like you still wouldn't want to be there because the intention is bad and and everything else is just like hell. I'm spending it on drugs, it's some money well spent. I ain't stumble on a problem I can solve it in my head. Spending it on drugs, it's some money well spent. I ain't stumble on a problem I can solve it in my head. I would just spend all my money on weed, like on drugs, just like hydros, coke, just like all the drugs in Chicago, like I would just spend all my money on. Cause I would sell them and use them. Now that I don't spend my money on drugs, it just feels better just using my money for more like useful like purposes like you know music and like softwares and like FL and stuff. Drugs get you nowhere. Like I felt like I was um I was just like hopeless and like I'm like what I'm what was I doing in life? But now that I'm off it, like I feel much better. I feel like I could like complete like any like task or like you know I could change the world like the way I want to now.